pretty good. Don't go no wetter. Just got back from picking up some plugs. We got all of our caliber coa in, and you can see some of it's got blooms on it. This is uh, these are vegetated plugs, so that means they've they were started from cuttings instead of from seed. They all look really good. Everything, yeah, so everything here down is caliber coa, and then we've got several trays here of black petunias, and then we've got a black and white petunia. That was one of the most popular flowers that we had last year. I think this must be, yeah, so this one that looks different is uh, a crazy tunia black and white and then these are crazy tunia black mambas so we're gonna do a bunch of trays of the black mamba got some creeping jenny that came in and this stuff here that looks kind of like mint is lantana and then we got some beautiful sweet potato vine in this is always a favorite here this is called an ace of spades you can see why i got that name um this i'm not sure what they call that margarita is that one that's a good name for it and i think this one's rusty red yep Ipomia is what they call that. It's a decorative sweet potato. And then we got wax ivy. And we're fixing to go ahead and put this wax ivy. We're going to put it in some mixed containers. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in four inch pots this afternoon. Because I want to get this stuff growing just as quick as possible. Because I'm a little bit concerned. Middle of February. I want it to be good size. Um if we're putting it in a, a mixed planter i want it to be big enough that it's hanging over the side and looking pretty by the time we open middle of april so got eight weeks to make that happen so there's no no time to kill eden's in there as you saw mixing soil and we're getting them hauled out here this is all plants that were started from seed in our basement if you watch the last video there's a glare on it so you can't you couldn't read it anyway because it's too dang little but just to give you an idea this is just the flower plugs that we've got on order for 2024 and the burgundy is what just came in today so we've still got all this black coming and this is not counting the seeds and this is not counting any vegetable plugs which we start all of our own vegetable plugs we don't buy any in but just to give you an idea and there's a lot that goes into planning and getting this stuff figured out because we don't just throw them all in pots and hope for the best i mean we we really do try to put a bunch of thought into combinations of colors all of the more high-end larger baskets we try to do combos so you can't just throw anything in together in the same pot so there's a actually quite a bit of thinking and planning that goes into all this and i'm just transitioning to all digital this year i think that's really going to pay dividends in the future as far as efficiency because in the past it has always been this which is fine but 
it's going to be pretty nice to be able to pull it up on the old iPad. These are our famous Bloom Master pots. This is a, I believe this is the four gallon size. We're gonna find out this year if the trade off is worth it. If you're better off to burn a little propane from the first of February, burn a slightly less per day and keep the greenhouse cooler from first february through spring or are you better to start mid-february crank the temperature on up kick stuff into gear possibly do some night interruptions um probably depends on the year a little bit but uh, and the weather but this year we're going to give it a go last year we we started everything around the same time we we're a little bit late but I was also running the greenhouse 45 to 50 degrees at night. Um, and that may shock some of you, but pretty much everything is fine with that, even tomatoes. They, it might not be their favorite, but it does keep them short and stocky. So um, there's trade-offs with everything. Uh, but we ended up with our petunias being a little further behind than we'd like. They weren't as enormous as they were the year before come mother's day so um these but anyway these bloom masters will be really really big if you're not familiar with them you haven't seen them before i think i might have some videos of them from last year uh we got them started late last year and they didn't turn out as big as they should have i had some mums in them this year that turned out great they were enormous like i i only i think i did two just as a trial and i'm really not sure how the folks at bottom carried them home because we kept them hung and the mum it was just like a three foot diameter ball of mums you don't ever want to jerk plugs up whether vegetable plugs you started from seed or whether they're vegetative uh, started from cuttings. You don't ever want to jerk them up by the plant. I always poke them up from the bottom. I've learned the hard way. Even though this top of this pot's really big, put your plants in a cluster in the center because if you spread them out here, you end up with a big old bald spot, gaping hole in the top. It's almost inevitable because they're gonna get so heavy hanging over, it just gets bald in the center if you don't put them pretty close together. As I mentioned, we're running this thing really warm. This, uh, <laughs> this is looking like it's already looking like it's going to get expensive. Because the heater just cut on and the sun is just barely behind the trees. But it's going to be a little bit loud in here now because I have to run circulation fans when the heater's running otherwise the heat just stays on that end of the greenhouse and never comes to the other end all right day two got our ducks in a row a little better today 
We're getting some 50 sales filled up. Well, Holly and the boys are getting some 50 sales filled up. Me and Annabeth are watching. And we are getting ready to stick some of our vegetable plugs. Is that a good Pringle? Is that a good Pringle? <laughs> so we've got all these vegetable plugs I showed you last night that we need to get stuck and we're going to start with our um, brassicas obviously because that's the thing that needs to be going out to the field very soon I know somebody's going to tell me I need a plug popper if you want to send me one I'd be happy to use it if it works good I'll brag about it if you have a plug popper you got to have one for we got we use 100 cell liners we use 288 seed trays we buy in and we plant typically always plant in uh, 392s so you have to have a plug popper for every single one of those size trays oh, no i'm thinking cabbage huh cabbage So that it get kind of spandy. We ain't planting any 1203s yet. If you're not familiar with that term, 1203 is the insert, the little three packs that go in the big tray that you typically see, not in box stores, uh, but garden centers, uh, independent garden centers, mom and pop, like hardware store, is where you normally see like a three and four packs of vegetable plants. Um, and that's what we grow all of our vegetables in is a 1203, which means there's 12 packs and they're all three sale. We're not planting any of those yet because it's, yes, it's time, but you kind of got to be smart about it we've had just a ridiculous amount of rain here in the past two months there ain't nobody gonna around here gonna have their garden ready even though it's technically time to be planting broccoli cabbage cold crops nobody's gonna have their stuff ready so i don't want to be sitting here with a whole half a greenhouse full of cold crops ready to be sold to the public and not be able to move them because nobody's ready yet. So we're gonna wait a couple weeks before we really get into sticking plugs into retail packs. Right now we're focusing on trying to get our stuff planted because we have a, one of our main not really, I guess it's a wholesale customer, it's direct to retail. Um, that we we're supposed to provide about 400 heads of broccoli and 400 or yeah, 400 crowns of broccoli and 400 heads of cabbage a week too. So we've got to start getting this stuff in the ground. And fortunately, we laid enough plastic for our cold crops when we were laying strawberry plastic. So it's already plastics laid, fertilized in the bed. Everything is ready to roll. And there's a nice cover crop in between the rows so we're not walking through the mud. 
so as soon as these 50 cell trays get ready and it won't take them long because these um, all these trays are very well developed it's got true leaves on them so it really won't take long to finish these plants out especially tomorrow hopefully I'm gonna get a get our chemilizers going and get them on a good fertilizer regimen and they'll fill these 50 cell trays up pretty quick we'll be ready to go plug them in the field all right y'all well i'm gonna wrap this one up before it gets dark on me because it is quickly doing that and uh i'll see y'all on the next one we've got a whole lot going on so i'm gonna try to keep the videos rolling every week i appreciate you watching as always, if you got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it.